I don't, I'm yeah. confused. We're, we're, I've only <laughs> seen you in three people all the time. <laughs> but I'll, be, I'll be with my family, my wife and child, and, and <laughs> living a, you know, my own sort of life. Like, Where are your brothers? It's like, do you think that we live in the Firehouse Smart TV show? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You see, that happens yeah. all the time. When we're out, but I think it's oh just people gosh. don't know what else to say. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not that... Where's Kelly? I yeah. get that they find it. I don't find it annoying. It's just like, no, I just no. feel like people just yeah. try to make conversation. Yeah. It does happen, though, like on social media. If we do a video or something and there's four out of the five of us, yeah. the well, only comment is, where's JC? Where's, or whoever is like yeah, not like, in the video. Whoever's missing. But I would have thought back in the day, the most annoying question they would have gotten would be about the purity rings. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. Oh. Where's the purity ring? Like, oh, my God. I'm sure they did. Yeah. Like all right, so Ellen DeGeneres gave up daytime TV in 2022 after she was accused of creating this toxic workplace. It's never been the same. That's where toxic started catching on. That so? buzzword, really? toxic. Or, or cancel started catching so on, for sure. Mm-hmm. Anyway, being too harsh, blah, blah, blah. List went on. Anyway, Netflix, um, her Netflix comedy special, or her stand-up special, where she talks about what happened, comes out next Tuesday. Uh-oh. Mark your calendars. But here's the trailer. Well, let me catch up on what's been going on with me since you saw me last. I decided to take up gardening. I got chickens. Let me see what else I can tell you about. Oh, yeah. I got kicked out of show business. <laughs> yeah, the be kind girl wasn't kind. That was the headline. Here's the problem. I'm a comedian who got a talk show, and I ended the show every day by saying be kind to one another. Had I ended my show by saying go f- yourselves, people would have been pleasantly surprised to find out I'm kind. I didn't go into this business for money. It was about healing my childhood wounds. I thought, if I could make people happy, then they'll like me. And if they like me, I'll feel good about myself. And all I can say about that is, thank God for the money. (laughs) But she's still funny. Yeah. See, it's funny, but do you hear the do you hear the sadness in her yeah, voice? Yeah, 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 yeah. You can hear it. And the resentment and Because oh, she yeah. did so much good on that show. She did. She did so much good. Her, her tone of voice in that was like you can hear the undercurrent of yeah. anger, and daytime T V talk shows have not been the same. There's nothing like Ellen's show. Uh, Kelly Clarkson's doing well. No, yeah, of course. But I'm, it's not I'm Ellen. Not, it's nothing's not gonna Ellen. be like Ellen's show. No. Yeah. Everything has to be different because if you copied it, people would be talking yeah. crap. She just brought something that was just so special. She did. We took it for granted. And now it's gone. And now it's gone. And Ellen's bitter. Mm-hmm. And that's okay. All right, SNL revealed the lineup of hosts and musical guests for their first five shows of the upcoming 50th season, nice. right? Nice, yes. And several of your favorites are going to be featured. Plus, we know why Wicked is being split into two movies. And we'll tell you what we've learned when we come back. Give us a ring. 800 K I D D L I V. That's 800 543 3548. The Kid Craddock Morning Show will be right back.